The stay at home order for Marion County extended now till May 15th. Yeah, so this comes as Hoosiers around the state await updates from the governor on statewide restrictions. That's expected tomorrow afternoon. I teammate Stephanie Zeppelin was on the call with Marion County leaders today, Stephanie. Phil, Marion County leaders say things here are different and worse than in other parts of the state. It's a numbers game, and those numbers are not where Marion County health officials want them to be, with about 100 new COVID-19 cases every day. We have an invisible virus. It is amongst us. It is highly contagious and remains so. Dr. Virginia Kane said about one-third of new cases and deaths in the state are here in Marion County, despite Marion County making up less than a third of the state's population. The extension of the stay-at-home orders keeps restaurants doing takeout and delivery only. But there's some good news. Golf courses can tee it up with social distancing. The county is also opening farmers markets to help people get food they need and support those farmers. But Dr. Kane is not ready to let other businesses open. If you look at the state of Georgia, you're already starting to see new cases uh, increase um, as a result of their mandate of letting all the businesses reopen. So um, very, very concerned about it. With increased testing in Marion County, they'll be looking at how many positive cases they find and judging what to do next. And so as the month of May progresses, we may very well be in a fundamentally different position while we address these issues. Mayor Hogsett said they're going to work closely with Governor Holcomb as things change here and around the state. They also talked about Simon Property Group and the news Simon wants to reopen malls in Indiana this Saturday. And Dr. Kane is not happy about it. We dive into that on News 8 at 6. Stephanie Zeppelin, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. All right, Stephanie, thanks so much. Meanwhile, some businesses say extending this order another two weeks is really going to hurt. News 8's Aaliyah Hodges joins us live with that side of the story. Aaliyah. Hey, Brooke, well, there's some businesses already hurting. This restaurant called Bruges Brasserie, they announced today that they will no longer continue to serve at this location, that they are going out of business after May 1st. And I spoke with a lot of people here in Broad Ripple. They say it's important more than ever to support non-essential businesses like this one. Curbside pickup and delivery continues at places like Hotbox Pizza. Although the general manager says sales have been steady, the work environment just hasn't been the same. You know, with us being in Broad Ripple, it's a very heavy kind of bar local town. Um, so, you know, usually we get hit pretty hard from that like 3 a.m. after bar crowd. So that's kind of gone right now since the bars are closed. Temporary closed signs remain at some businesses and there are less people walking around. There's not many locations that open anymore. I believe it's just Jimmy John's and us and Sahara and India Garden now. So. There's just not, behind us, the flat water is open as well, but there's just not many locations open, so it's been kind of a ghost town. Condado Tacos tells News 8 they had high hopes to reopen their dine-in just in time for Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is right around the corner, so it's, a, it's our biggest day of the year. Um, it's going to be really strange uh, not being able to have guests in the building. Runners Forum sells running shoes and gear. They've been also doing curbside pickup and taking online orders, but it's still been a challenge serving customers. It's not quite the same because we do offer a service where we help people with shoes, and that's a little more challenging right now. Um, a lot of people have been coming to the door wondering what's going on, and they have questions about shoes. While the stay-at-home order has been extended through May 15th, these small businesses are hoping people can still show their support. Uh, if we just kind of pull together, um, you know, kind of help each other out as a community, um, I think that, you know, we can get through this. And coming up at 6 o'clock, what are most of these restaurants and business managers wishing for? Well, stay with us to find out. I'm Aaliyah Hodges, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and be sure to follow us on Facebook. All right, Aaliyah, thank you very much. Governor Eric Holcomb wouldn't give any hints today as to what he'll do concerning the statewide stay-at-home order. He plans, though, to release his plan tomorrow. Uh, that will include retailers, malls, you name it. I've said A to Z. Um, and Simon Malls that you referenced, that specific example, 
uh, they have said that they will comply with both local and state uh, standards. And I take them at their word, they will. And so you'll just have to wait to hear from me. You've heard from the mayor and I fully support uh, Mayor Hogsett. I've, I've said before, local uh, jurisdictions can always be stricter than what we have said. This the governor went on to say the state will work with local officials as well as businesses across the state.